Hello and welcome to the demonstration of 3D splines uh, in, in PTC's Co-Create modelling solution. Uh, it's a simple demo but uh, just a, an introduction to the functionality. Uh, as you can see I've got a, a two parts on the screen, a base and then a, a wire running through the base just to show what the, uh, the, the finished um, parts are going to look like. Um, what I'm going to do here now is just switch off the the wire, you can see the spline, I'm going to turn the original spline off um, and we're going to create a new spline. Okay, so we're going to go into the uh, 3D Curve menu and select the spline option. Okay, the new spline, we're going to call it spline 1. Okay, um, and we're going to start off by specifying the points that the spline passes through. OK, now if I press Control and Shift on my keypad, as you can see here, what happens is it snaps to the centre of the circle that I'm hovering over. So it's got a neat little fun function. Um, so if I do this, then I'm going to move along. I'm going to do the same there, again using Control and Shift to snap to the centre. And I'm just going to repeat this all the way through to specify the path that my spline is going to run through. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, nearly finished. Okay, middle mouse and here's my spline. Okay, now what I would need to do here is control tangency as the spline passes through these, um, uh, you know, these uh, bosses on my base part. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my spline it's highlighted in orange uh, clearly I've not selected it properly I want to modify it uh -huh. for some reason I'm not uh, maybe I need to go in this way modify spline uh, I'm going to select the spline okay and I want to change tangency okay so what I'm going to do is pick the point where I want to change the tangency. Now if I right click while I'm in this mode I've got some options and I want to uh, apply a new tangency condition for a new direction. Now the, the, you can see that the, uh, the hover is showing the arrow coming towards me. If I press tab at this point it will toggle this. Okay, alternatively you can say apply reverse direction. Okay, and I'm literally just going to walk through the whole, the whole spline. Uh, sorry, I've said apply, and then accept. Okay, so that's set the first one. Uh, I'm going to pick the next point on the spline. Uh, new direction. It's correct this time. Right click, accept, and do exactly the same for the next two points on the spline. Okay. Uh, apply new direction, press tab, uh, apply and then accept. Okay. So it's you know it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy to do. Nothing uh, I mean this example's clearly uh, a simple example, but it shows you that base uh, functionality to get you going. Okay, nearly finished. Oh, sorry, I didn't pick accept. Uh, sorry, so did I get that right? Accept. Okay, now move on. Pick my next point. Uh, new direction. That's the direction. And accept. And then finally, new direction, apply, and accept. Okay, so if I look over here now, you'll see that I've controlled the tangency of the spline as it passes through this boss, so it, it enters and exits the boss uh, straight. Uh, I'm not sure that's the correct way to uh, explain that, but there you go, I'm sure you understand. Right, uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to press Alt and click the middle mouse to put a work plane on this end face. Um, and what I want to do is draw a circle. If I hover over an existing circle, it shows me the center, which is also the point of my spline. 
Okay, uh, and what I want to do here, that's interesting, I'm not getting the diameter correct. So, what I could do is Copilot settings, 3D snapping, all parts, not in plane only. So, this means that I can snap to that diameter inside there. Don't know whether that makes sense, but essentially, what I've done is snapped to the diameter of the hole moving through my base part. Okay. Um, now what I'll do is I'll, I'll run a, a sweep command just to sort of show the kind of things that 3D splines are useful for. So I'm going to add material. Uh, I'm going to sweep along uh, a spline. It's asking me which spline do I want to. So I'm going to select this is the spline I want. Okay. Uh, and then say end so that's been defined um, preview I can preview before I commit so that's pretty much what I'm expecting okay uh, what I want to do here though is I want to make this a different part so I'm going to call this my wire dash one okay and then either green tick or middle mouse button does the same I'm going to pick green tick so here is my uh, wire as I've created it. And this can be as simple and straightforward or, uh, as you want it to be. I'm just going to pick on that face, move 3D and drag it out so visually it's a bit easier to uh, to understand. Uh, I don't need my work plane anymore so I shall just delete this. Okay and if I just flip that over again, oops, just zoom in, I'm going to pick on that face, move 3D and there we go. Okay, um, I've got my. I've actually got a. Um, uh, I'll just switch my other old parts off again. Okay, so here we are. What I will do is I've got my rendering switched on, so I'm just going to uh, pick a material. Uh, I'll just pick something that's make going to make it look nice on the screen. I'm going to pick. Ooh, let's pick polished gold. So let me just drag and drop that property on there. Okay, and quickly render it to make it look pretty. So, there you go. How to create a, a simple 3D spline and uh, using the sweep add material command um, create a, a, a wire component to pass along that spline. Okay, thank you very much.